Hey guys, today I want to tell you the story of how we got our little cabin on the homestead. So we are a large family and we live in a large house, but it's actually not big enough for all of us. So we knew when we moved here that we were going to have to find an option for our daughter and her baby to live here on the homestead, but have their own separate place so they can be their own little beginning of a family. And so we looked into uh, getting travel trailers, we looked into possibly converting the garage into an apartment, but in the end it was just having, having a little cabin brought here and put here was the best option for us. And so we found this little thing on Craigslist, it was delivered, and we've been working on fixing it up inside and, and it's been a great blessing for her to have her own little space so um, she can get away from the craziness of the family. Now we named this cabin uh, the Mustard Seed Cabin. And, and the reason is not only because it's a mustardy yellow color, but also because we are hoping that this little seed, this little first step of building a homestead will grow into something great. We really have no idea what we'll have in the end, but we're hoping that it'll be something that is, that is a blessing to us and to our children and to their children and to whoever comes to seek refuge at the Happy Place Homestead. We're so blessed to have it here. And we have great hopes for the for everything else that we add to this homestead in the future. So um, today, I just kind of wanted to show you the steps that we took and the process it took to bring this cabin here, and uh, just to share you show you along in the journey that we've had. So here we go. Here's the spot the cabin eventually was put. It was a beautiful spot, but um, it was really a great location for the cabin. The whole family got together and we spent many weekends chopping down trees and it gave us a good source of firewood for this winter. After a couple weeks of work, we had a nice cleared location ready for the arrival of the new cabin. Arrival day finally came and the truck came pulling into the driveway with the cabin on the back of a large flatbed truck. The owners and uh, their friends all showed up to guarantee that the cabin arrived safely. Since the cabin was facing the wrong direction on the truck, they had to uh, place it to the ground and then find a way to pull it into the spot that we had cleared for the cabin. It was a little nerve wracking at times. I was impressed by how professional the guys were who uh, delivered this big cabin to our house. It certainly was no small feat. Now here they tried to pull it using the truck into place, but that thing would not go. It was way too heavy. So they eventually had to get his this little fancy machinery out that we thought, there's no way that thing could actually move this cabin. But um, in the end, it was amazing. It was like It was like slicing through warm butter. That thing just moved so easily and got into place within a matter of 15 minutes. We thought, why in the world didn't you just get that thing out to begin with? But um, I don't know, it was pretty awesome. And so finally, after a couple hours of working on it, the cabin was in its permanent location. We had some leveling, of course, to do, but um, we're pretty happy. It has a great little situation on the property there. You can see it from the distance. It's, it's a nice little cabin. I started with uh, insulating it, of course. It was the first time I've ever insulated a building before. It was quite interesting. I had some help, of course. My daughter and her little girl uh, helped as much as they could, especially with the nasty work that I got tired doing. And, and um, of course, here's some help from when we were at the store buying supplies, always helpers. And then uh, this was my first drywalling experience on my own, really. It was, it was a huge undertaking. And in the end, it was not the best quality of work that anyone has ever done. But it was my first time doing this type of project and I really loved it. Uh, I was sore every single night, my muscles just ached, but um, I just had a, a great time, it, it, a great sense of satisfaction when it was all finished. Here I built some extra walls to enclose a bedroom and then a little spot where we can put a porta potty there for her. And here's the finished product, little Audrey's bedroom, uh, which we put in the little room under the loft. And here's a shot of the loft. Uh, beautifully decorated by my daughter, nice little paint job, and it's a perfect little home. Of course, there's still a few little things that have to be done, some wood trim around the windows and doors and, and whatnot, but it's a nice little home for our daughter and her daughter to be happy with. 
and while they're in this time of transition, we're certainly blessed. So there you have it. That's our mustard seed cabin, the first little step on the growth of a great homestead. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us along in all of our little adventures. Here on the Happy Place Homestead, we are learning so much and we have so much yet to learn. Have a great day. Thanks.